Does the moon hide secrets beyond even our wildest dreams? What is it about the inexplicable events that are repeatedly observed on the lunar surface? Could it be that mankind is not the first species to have visited the satellite? and that the celestial body is in fact not what it appears to be at first glance. The moon regularly changes its appearance. Depending on the current phase of the mystical celestial body, it presents itself in the firmament sometimes as a mighty glowing disk and sometimes as a delicate crescent. But while these optical interplays can be clearly attributed to the rotation and position of the satellite, there are also mysterious spectacles taking place on the lunar surface that have had experts racking their brains for decades. What goes by the official name of Lunar Transient Phenomenon describes brief changes in brightness or color on the surface of the satellite. The problem? Although this mystery is right on our earthly doorstep, and although we have already paid several visits to the moon, the sparkling phenomenon have not yet been deciphered beyond doubt. Thus, in an absence of reliable data, scientists have to rely on theories. On the one hand, it is conceivable that the bright spots or colored clouds occur as parts of smaller impacts. While the phenomena sometimes last only a few seconds and sometimes even several hours, an alternative explanation is based on the residual volcanism of the planet. This is because although the moon is essentially cooled and shows no signs of active volcanism, there may still be some molten area lying around dormant underground. Once volcanic gases make their way to the surface, the regolith, or colloquial lunar dust, is stirred up. As a result, the reflectivity of the affected area also changes, which is why, when viewed from Earth, it looks as if the satellite is lighting up here and there and glowing colorfully. The somewhat more alternative heads pursue, however, an approach which has nothing to do with the impact events or residual volcanism. No, the luminous phenomenon would testify in truth that we are by no means the first species which visited the moon. We are only the first which left it afterwards. The Spaceships In May 2019, a photographer in Moscow devoted himself to the task of photographing the moon. At first, the man had trouble getting the focus of his camera right, but then his eyes fell on something he had never seen before. There were three black dots moving above the lunar surface, and as soon as they disappeared from view, the scene was flooded with countless other dark objects. Then, a zoom later, there was no doubt that the man had just spotted some sort of formation of entities floating above the lunar surface. But what in the world was this? Could they have been asteroids? Or was the visibly astonished man actually filming an alien space fleet? Researchers who examined the material afterwards came to the conclusion that the objects were almost 100 kilometers above the surface of the satellite. Against this background, the diameter of the formations should have been again 3 to 5 kilometers. Or differently expressed, if they really were UFOs, these were about 40 times larger than the ISS. But who or what would be able to create so many colossal structures and bring them afterwards into a moon orbit? Other experts also concluded that the clip is real, so we are not dealing with a brazen fake. Could the footage possibly show us satellites that we ourselves have sent into the realms of the moon? Well, this is very unlikely. Although many man-made objects orbit the moon, they do not stay in the same regions. Now, of course, the Moscow photographer was not the first, and especially not the only one, to take a closer look at Earth's constant companion. Shouldn't the alarm bells of the international research teams have been ringing in view of these puzzling observations? NASA's Bob Anderson initially suspected that we were indeed seeing satellites on the video, but that they were not orbiting the moon, but our blue home planet. Given that there are now more than 6,700 satellites in Earth orbit, this explanation seems quite plausible. So the case seems to be solved, but not so fast. A closer analysis of the video revealed something that does not fit at all with the usual satellite scheme. We see how some objects come very close to each other and then move away from each other again. Such a movement pattern throws the satellite theory with a blow overboard. Do the aliens have thus again the nose in front? Well, not necessarily. Maybe the photographer has simply captured a flock of birds. If you follow the explanations of the NASA employees, the wing beats and the silhouettes of the feathered animals appear on the sensor of the camera as round objects. 
Since the picture was taken in May, the time would also speak for a bird migration. Mysterious Crash Landing On March 4, 2022, the lunar surface was once again richer by two craters. However, these were not blasted into the ground by a rock body, but by a rocket. Since then, a double impact with a diameter of nearly 30 meters gapes in the proximity of the so-called Hertzsprung Crater. After the terrestrial researchers had prognosticated the crash, as well as the appropriate region in the apron, they announced on 23 of June that they were absolutely correct with their calculations. And yet, the incident is still accompanied by a big question mark. We have no idea where the mysterious rocket came from. And also, the fact that the crash landing created a double crater was extremely unexpected. This indicates that the missile had large masses on both ends. At first, experts suspected that we are dealing with the upper stage of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, which had set off into the far reaches of space in February 2015. An assumption, however, that could not stand up to subsequent observations and calculations, which is why from then on the Chinese launch vehicle of the Chang'e's 5T1 mission was considered the most likely candidate. The problem? China has denied the claim. What is certain is that the mysterious rocket is not the first to crash into the lunar surface. Unlike the Apollo program objects, however, this was the first to crash unplanned onto the outer surface of the satellite. The Lunar Tower With a height of 828 meters, the Burj Khalifa is the tallest building on Earth. However, this is a value about which the builders of the Lunar Tower can only smile wearily. The lunar skyscraper, for example, actually towers 5.6 kilometers above its dusty surroundings. After the strange structure was discovered a few years ago with the help of Google Moon, the voices that recognized in it the work of a hidden lunar civilization increased, and also the alleged purpose could be uncovered fast. The tower was probably built so that a very large spaceship could dock safely. The explanations of the scientists sound clearly less spectacular, on the other hand. It is only a small crater, which formed at the edge of a larger impact site. The fact that the structure finally looks like a tower is to be led back again on the compound picture mosaic and the high sun position. Namely, the brighter craters stand out clearly from the darker areas, easily subjecting the viewer to an optical illusion. Compared to other images on the lunar surface, however, there is nothing unusual about this image. The Hollow Moon If the mysterious lights, the lunar spaceships, and the towers are not yet departed enough, we refer to another, not less controversially discussed, theory. The moon is not a natural celestial body, but an artificially created space station. But what tempts some persons to this sheer unbelievable assumption? Well, the foundation stone of this hypothesis was laid in the context of the Apollo program. At that time, the moon drivers installed a row of seismometers on the satellite in order to register vibrations. However, since no one knew when the next moonquake would occur, the astronauts helped the experiment along a bit. That was the case on November 20, 1969, when the ascent stage of the Apollo 12 lander purposely crashed into the lunar surface. However, subsequent data analysis showed that the interior of the moon droned like a bell for almost an hour after the planned impact. This circumstance led some to an unusual conclusion. The moon is hollow from the inside. The explanation of the conservative scientists sounds, however, somewhat differently. The fact that the moon differs so clearly from the Earth in puncto quakes it is to be led back primarily to the influence of the water. According to this, the materials of which our home planet is made are moist and expand their structure. So when the energy of an earthquake now moves through the planet, the moist material acts like a kind of sponge, absorbing the energy of the waves and softening their impact. The moon, on the other hand, is dry, cool, and rigid, resembling a rock rather than a sponge. And even though the vibrations on the moon are weaker than those on Earth, there is nothing there to dampen their propagation. They simply travel back and forth through the body until the solid rock finally stops them. The ringing bells are therefore simply the shock waves which reverberate through the rock. But the human being would be probably not the human being, 
if he would be satisfied with always with such an explanation. In the 70s, the Soviet scientists Michael Vaselin and Alexander Sherbakov pushed the hollow moon theory to the point the inside of the satellite would be adorned not only by a gaping emptiness, no, in truth, since the entire moon, the work of the extraterrestrial civilization. Understandably, the opposite side met this assertion with a proper portion of skepticism. According to them, the arguments on which Vaselin and Sherbakov relied were nothing else more than vague circumstantial evidence. Furthermore, during the Cold War, the aesthetic Soviet Union would have always tried to promote the concept of pre-astronautics in order to undermine the religious beliefs of the West. And yet to this day, there are those who truly believe that the moon hides an unknown, highly evolved species, and that this knowledge is being deliberately concealed from us. Become a subscriber to never miss another exciting video.